Hi, my name is Robert, the author of the book 180 Degrees. Thank you very much for checking out the blog and I hope you enjoy the material that I'll be occasionally sending out with insights a little deeper into the book, um, some thoughts that I would like to share with you, things that I've learned after writing the book and obviously most importantly I really hope that you've enjoyed reading the book. If you haven't done so already you can purchase from this website and also go to the other website 180book.com. The book of course titled 180 Degrees it's a story of my life which by the way I gotta tell you sometimes it's a little uncomfortable for me presenting this book uh, enthusiastically endorsing it because it's of my life so it seems a little weird I wish at times it was like one of my best bros that wrote, wrote the book so I can pitch their book not pitch my own because it seems a little vain uh, with that said that was actually one of the reasons why I didn't r write the book for a number of years when all my friends knowing my story had um, were trying to push me into doing it and encouraging me to do it and I want to actually thank Robert Hickey a friend and client who at lunch one day said to me, you know what, Rob, after hearing my story, he said, you owe it to people, you owe it to the world to put your story out on paper. Because you know what, you never know when their story is going to touch someone's life and save their life. And I want to thank you, Robert Hickey, because if it wasn't for that moment of you saying that at that lunch, I would have never written this book. And it really took the emphasis on off of my concern would people consider me being vain writing a book about my life to more so, you know what, this is my opportunity to be of service for people. And I do believe and evidence has shown that this book has inspired people. And what has really surprised me is it's inspired so many people that have nothing to do with addiction and or recovery. People outside of recovery, I mean the thousands of testimonies that I've received from people is just touched my heart, touched my soul, that they have gotten so much out of it. And I mean I just received another email last night, you know, someone saying that she's not in, has nothing to do with addiction, never even tried drugs, but read the book because she wants her kids to read it. And she's now inspired and can't wait for her kids to read the book. But of course, there are those that were intended to receive the message of that of this book, and those are the people that need recovery. You know, they're caught in the grips of addiction and or are already in recovery. And this book has, from what I'm told, and I'm very proud about it, that has helped them and inspired them. And, you know, I've had moments with parents, I've had moments with, in fact, I got one email and if you're listening, Chad, that email that you sent me, you know, was just phenomenal. I mean, it just really inspired me to do something like I'm doing right now as far as this blog and re-inspired me to push or promote the message of this book. Because Chad's email to me was, Rob, thank you. My parents sent me this book when I was in prison. I read your book over and over. It not only helped me get sober, but once I got out of prison, it empowered me to be the man that I am today and I've started my own business here in Palm Springs with opening up my own gym. I mean even just repeating the story is almost bringing a tear to my eye thinking wow how cool you know how cool that this book touched someone like that and inspired them. You know and just recently I was in an event and, and I forget the guy's name but he approached me and he said Rob you know, I've got 17 years sober and I'm so glad to meet you to tell you this personally, not just with an email, but I want to let you know that, you know, I almost went out and someone gave me your book last year and I read it. And after I read it, I called my sponsor and I told him, I just read a book that saved my life. You know, and the guy, he and I were standing at the hotel, this lobby, and he, uh, he said, can I give you a hug? I mean, it was a really cool moment. And I thought then, I'm like, you know what? This is it. I've got to focus myself on making sure to tell everyone I can about this book. Again, taking away that uncomfortability of what will I be thought about if I'm promoting my own book. But you know what? I don't care. I'm going to promote it with passion because I know it can help people. The book, again, is titled 180 Degrees, and I hope that you'll be receiving these blogs and maybe forward them on to people that you know, that you think might be inspired by the message if you read the book. And with that, I want to wrap up, but I do want to thank some people individually. You know, no one like myself used to read acknowledgments or forewords at the beginning of the book. I hope you read this one. There's a few people in here, uh, but one person in particular that I really want to thank, and that's my biggest mentor, Mike Ferry, who's my real estate coach and has been for 18 years. 
Mike, I've already told you this. You have, you're such an inspiration to me. And not only have you helped me massively in my business, my real estate business, but the lessons that you teach us that follow you, um, it's not just about real estate, but about life. You've taught me to be the man that I am today. And I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. And then also, who's not acknowledged in this book, but if I do a revision, I'm going to add him, is act, add him, is actually your son, Matthew Ferry. Matthew, you're phenomenal. You're amazing, dude. The, 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 the coaching that I've received from you has completely enlightened my life. And I want to thank you. And I also want to thank our mutual friend, Renee Swisco. Uh, her work with me is, again, amazing. So with that said, I hope you enjoy the blog. And uh, have a great day, and I also hope you enjoy the book.